Hi, my name is Katrina Muther, and um, I'm here with the Concordia uh, University of Nebraska soccer team, the Bulldogs, and we are here for a week to serve in New Orleans, and we partnered up with um, a team in Canada. Hi, I'm Caitlin Starr, and I'm a first year at Trinity Western University. I play in the Spartans women's basketball team. And? Uh, I'm Chelsea Olson, and I also play on the basketball team up in um, British Columbia, Canada, and it's just been really great being here and getting to know the soccer girls as well. Okay, so we got to uh, go play some street ball at Apex, and it was crazy. Like, we, like, there were so many kids that showed up, and we were just so competitive and ready to kick our butt, and it was, it was so much fun. Like, I don't think I've had that much fun just, like, playing basketball for fun in a long time, so it was cool. Those kids, like, they all had sweet stories, and they were just so willing to talk to us afterwards, but they were also willing to had us some, <laughs> just try to kill us on the basketball court, but it was great, like it was, oh it was awesome. It was just a lot of fun and um, just having that intensity but also having that respect for each other as well is something that um, sport can really do is just bring people together, like we're from completely different backgrounds, completely different countries, yet um, there's this thing that unites us and can just, we can battle it out on the court and then have some good conversations after and it was, it was definitely a lot of fun to be playing with those guys. Uh, working with the kids at Gloria Day at the church soccer camp, uh, the first day we were there it wasn't really a soccer camp. We tried doing some drills with them, but the kids, I think a lot of us weren't ready for the behavior of the kids there. So we transitioned from doing soccer drills, which weren't really working, to uh, kickball. And once we started playing kickball, more of the kids got involved, which was fun to see them get competitive and get involved. And then the second day we went there and we started off with the soccer game and it was so much better than the first day. The kids were working together and uh, my teammates and I were playing with the kids and they seemed to be really enjoying it. Um, I think we were very fortunate to have experienced a lot of different activities throughout the entire week. And I got a chance to meet Brother Wayne when we were doing some construction and stuff and painting at, at the orphanage or the was orphanage um, so he just like served he wanted us to help him serve but at the same time he was serving us and like hearing his testimony and, like things he'd been through is just like he wanted to impact us and leave with a mark. I think all of the the leaders of the groups we worked with with our community garden and I met we met with Andre with a um, it was an all people's home and also Lori at the farm I think they were all just it was awesome to hear their stories and how much they're helping people you know, looking at the places that we were, the, the initial couple hours when we drove into the city, I could see the, the team kind of like, are we going to be okay here? <laughs> I'm pulling up to Camper Store and that, and uh, I think it was neat for them to experience these little pockets of safety, you know, wherever they went. Uh, we felt safe where we were working and how the people that created those environments were really, were really ones that intentionally went out and did that. They knew there needed to be a safe area for kids or for activities like this, and they went and they built those. And even in our time here as teams, when they were exploring, you know, and reflecting and digging deep, they were, it was becoming a safe environment here to say those things out loud, things that you, you'd be really nervous about and to talk about really tough choices. And yesterday was, um, I thought it was a cool evening. We had some time to just really um, make some decisions and realize that in order to follow Christ, there are some easy choices to make. Um, there are some difficult choices to make, but there's also some choices that need to be made and so we wanted to really put the emphasis on um, not thinking that you can't make choices you have to make a choice and if by not making a choice you actually are making a choice so it was really cool to relate all the people that we met throughout the week in in that faith aspect as well we met some incredible people God is doing big things in New Orleans like especially I was revealed this week with like how much people are not down like they have such kindred spirits and they're so like uplifting and they're just so happy and they've been so devastated so just seeing like that and seeing like how powerful it is really like revealed to me that God is working in these people. It was really cool to just um, serve in the ways we could and the ways that we were able and I think that leaving this, um, having worked with Camper Store will really um, give us a better perspective of what it means to care for others and to, uh, yeah, just what it means to love.